In this video, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process to develop what you're gonna talk about in your content so that you can develop your point of view or the lens to focus all of your energy on compelling content that will help your business generate revenue. Because what I find is a lot of businesses do not have a point of view, a leading point of view that your audience cares about and also deeply aligns with your business goals. So then the question becomes, how do we create content that your audience likes and positions you as the industry expert? Now, you don't have to have all of this figured out when you start, but you do wanna go into this with a strategy and that's what I'm gonna help you with today, so let's do this. First, you want to start with the main pillar topics of what you're going to talk about. What are the three to five things that you're going to talk about on a regular basis? The more focused you are on these individual topics, the easier it will be for you to pierce through all the noise out there. For myself, I've really dialed in on persuasive video content, content that can really grab people's attention, automated systems, systems that help me take that persuasive video and scale it out to multiple platforms, and actually generating revenue with that content. How can I take that persuasive content, scale it out to multiple platforms, and actually generate revenue in the business. From time to time, I will talk about general entrepreneurial activities, but I've just found the more I focus in on these topics, the more money I make and the better I get at talking about these specific topics. Next, you're going to want to hone in on what other experts are saying that is 100% false. This is one of the easiest ways to stand out in the marketplace because you really want to come across as the elephant in the room. The only way you're going to stand out from everyone else is if you're actually saying something else. Like most marketers out there promise unrealistic results. They talk about how easy it's going to be. They really get you focused on a short-term perspective. And so one of the ways I stand out is I talk about long-term perspectives and how those drive better short-term results and how nothing in life is easy. Creating video content, getting out there on social media is not easy, but it is the best way to grow your business and that's why I talk about it. So get clear on the things that people are saying that are just false that you can call out. And this is one that a lot of people miss out on. As a thought leader in your space, what does your audience need to know about the future, the risks and opportunities that they can take advantage of? What are those risks that they can avoid or what are those opportunities that they can take advantage of with your step-by-step -step advice. For instance, I know that if people get into content creation, they can grow their business. And I also think that if they think of themselves more as a media company providing educational material that helps your target customer become the best, instead of trying to prove you're the best, that if and when they need your help, they'll find you because you are the educational force that helped them along the way. So don't be afraid to be that thought leader, the person that looks into the future and identifies those risks and opportunities. Now, this one's a bit more obvious. What are the outcomes your various clients want? You want to talk about the things that are important to your target audience. For me, my clients want to be able to create persuasive video. They want to be able to articulate their point of view. They want to reach new people and turn them into customers and clients. And they want to make more money and they want to live life on their terms. And they want the systems to make it easy because none of this is easy. So the easier we can make it, the better. And then you want to think about what situations drive them to take action and hire someone like you. What are they going through in life right now that would make them hire someone like you? And really keep it simple. So a lot of my clients are really working with old strategies that aren't working and they're looking for something new. Or it could be as simple as they're afraid to get on camera and they're looking for someone that has been able to get through that. Or they want to get started, but they just need a system. So just think through what are the situations they're going through and then create content around those topics. And of course, you're going to want to map in your client results. What does it look like after you've actually helped somebody? Like one of my clients, Kirk, I helped him go from 200 to 800K per year over a couple of years. And in 11 months, I helped Tim go from 40K a month to 120K a month. And after optimizing Summit CPA's YouTube channel, we helped them get 10 new clients in a single month. This is an extremely important part of your content strategy and you need to talk about it. Some people are afraid to talk about and claim the things that they did to help their clients, but you need to put this in there. And this is a simple one, but what are the frequently asked questions from your customers? When you're on calls with them, what are they asking you? If you're posting stuff on social media, what are the comments asking you? This one's important so you can keep it fun and fresh. What are you learning about? What are you excited about that your target market might also be interested in? So there you go. That's how you're going to develop the topics that you're going to talk about, your point of view, the lens that will help you focus in on what type of content that you're going to create. And now that we've done that, make sure to check out the next video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually record a video. How do you script it out? How do you think it through so that you can create compelling content that your target customer will enjoy and become a raving fan? Go ahead and check it out. I'll see you on that next video.